Winning and, and losing, um, you know, has is, is, is been great for the boys this year. They've, learnt, they've got a lot out of both. Um, the great thing is we've won two very close games um, when the game could have gone either way. And, you know, the younger boys really stood up then and played some good footy. If, you know, we can play four consistent quarters and, and stick to the way we want to play, um, you know, there's no doubt we're in with a chance. But um, we're going to make sure we do that. And, and I'm sure win or lose, we'll get a lot out of this game. Nothing beats a couple of wins to get the confidence up. The boys have been pretty good on the train track. Um, I keep looking back to I suppose the Port Adelaide game where we had a really good win and then uh, Essendon gives a bit of a touch up so it's sort of this week's been the focus of uh, not getting ahead of ourselves and um, as hard as AFL footy is you've got to do it week in week out. Needs to kick the goal Gary Ablett, they need the captain to kick it long oh, that is right. and strong. The luxury we've got at the moment, we've got a lot of young players that are in good form so uh, Harrow's going to be a big loss for us, I think he's been up, he's nearly leading our clearances and he's averaging uh, up above 20 possessions so someone's got to fill that spot. Picks off by Harris. Danny Stanley who's been playing forward a bit, he might go through to midfield more. Uh, Joey Day probably get more of an opportunity through to midfield. Um, down back you might have Jared Harbrow or Nathan Cracker might go through to midfield. So we've got, we've got a luxury, we've got a lot of guys that can play in multiple positions so hopefully we can cover, cover them in those areas. A lot of them have been talked about before. Um, obviously Zach Smith. Um, you know, he's obviously living with me, that's why he's playing some good footy. But uh, no, Dave Swallow, um, you know, we've got, we've got so many talented kids, I could, you know, I could reel off about 14 or 15 of them. So um, they've just got to keep getting games in them and, and yeah, I'm sure they'll keep improving as the year goes on. The guys, I, I suppose, uh, after the big win and then the Essendon's first quarter, sort of expected just to happen. So hopefully they've learned a lot from it, that they've got to be on, on their game right from the start. So that'll be a major focus for us this week. A lot of people saying at the start of the year we wouldn't get a win for the season. Um, we've got two up now and um, hopefully we can uh, win a few more before the year, year ends.